Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Supreme Commanders of the Universal Allegiance to the One. Happy 777 Portal Activation on this Holy Trinity Gate of the Seven of the One Creation of Divinity. We are feeling through the sacred portals of our transformation in the light. Our local Solaris continues to transmit gamma plasma waves of 5D and beyond through multiple solar flares and a major M-class flare today maxing at M2.12 at 1909. UTC preparing Gaia and all her children of the sun for this Saturn day's 99 portal of higher light. We had two pillars of white light appearing on the Schumann charts today, resonating at amplitudes of 38 hertz and 44 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics continue to anchor into the crystalline core of Pachamama. The love of the Divine Mother Goddess is flowing into this realm from the Most High, filling our bodies, minds, and spirits with the codes of resurrection and transfiguration. In these final days of the false 3D matrix, keep going through and through and through until total and complete compression breakthrough. We are truly at the precipice of moving from a closed system into an open system to reunite with our star nations and transform this realm into Galactic Mothership 33 of our Universal Alliance of Light. In unity we rise in cosmic consciousness and resolve all things perfectly in the unborn mind of Buddha. In enlightenment, we realize our true nature of pure awareness to free ourselves and all sentient beings from the wheel of samsara, of maya, all illusions as false projections. Through gratitude, forgiveness, and compassion, we raise the frequency of our collective experience and shift time and space into the new age of Aquarius and the paradise she has always evolved to be in this now for all eternity. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful divine decree for the circle and sword of blue flame. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 27 degrees. 48 minutes Gemini. The sun is at 15 degrees, 8 minutes Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 16 degrees Virgo. Children crowd around the orangutan cage in a zoo. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 28 degrees Gemini. Society granting bankruptcy to him, a man leaves the court from astrologyweekly.com and today from divine brother of the light Padma Sambhava Guru Rinpoche when my arms can't reach to sentient beings I always bless them with my prayers Om Ahung Vajra Guru Padma Siddhi Hung and from divine sister of the light Victoria Lilyanquist Today is September 7th. Energies are building. You may feel like you are in two worlds. Solar activity is strong. Honor your needs and self-care. Love, focus. Hold the vision of our great divine plan. We are one and victorious. Commander Victoria from victoriaslight.com And from Divine Angel of the Light, Lightworker 4444. We are in the process of receiving massive downloads and upgrades, returning the children of light to the Garden of Eden. 
The original divine template is beginning to activate at full capacity, indicating the world is about to change. And from divine sister of the light, Sophie Gregoire. Update. This new version of you is becoming more and more present, stronger by the day. What a beautiful incarnation of a higher version of yourself you are becoming now. You are preparing for more. Somewhere you know this, in your heart. This is only the beginning of much more. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Bro Thor of the Light, Roberto Nunez. Boom! Current recalibration of the heart. The cosmic flow is a sensible co-creator of new consciousness. Creating new levels of service as presence. The I Am Presence. Activating new dynamics of creation now. Affirmation. Everything will work out for me. Everything that stresses me out won't even matter soon. Long-awaited blessings are coming my way. I choose to make room for them by practicing gratitude. 555-111-1111 five, 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 one, 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 eleven, eleven. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Divine Feminine 7777. On the ninth day of the ninth month, we have the 99 portal. The portal is already opened. It usually opens three days before and stays open for another three days after the actual date. Nine is the number of endings, completion. Out with the old, wipe the slate clean to start with the new. But such important transitions do not happen that smoothly overnight. The old and the new is overlapping because change happens all the time. Number nine also represents the energy of creation. The 99 portal is an opportunity for you to tap into the energy of creation and allow it to guide you forward. Surrender to the process. Tune into the energy of creation that will help you clear the old out of your system and open up to the powerful new high frequency golden light that will flow into the empty spaces within your system. Now is the time to step into your power and work on your mission. We are also supported by the energy of the sun coming into the planetary system right now. It can cause a lot of chaos and pressure, but do not worry. Everything will work out just fine. We are creating the new relationship blueprint and the old will be replaced with the new ways of living, being, doing, relating, little by little. Everything will fall into place. The best you can do is to bring your energy to the highest possible level to get the best out of the 99 portal. Raise your vibration and release the old. Follow the guidance of your soul and rise. And today from Divine Brother of the Light, Pars Kute. The quantum field is the connection of all life by the subconscious mind of one. We are infinitely connected as spirit to all life forms of creation. Each thought ripples in vibration to heal or cause harm. We are creating our world and story each moment. We never forget the love that we are in form. Remember our light as this magnificent frequency will take us through portals of bliss. Entering our own portal as earth shifts will also take all life into the covering of a massive portal around the planet. We continue to choose thoughts that will heal and serve us. Within Divine Love of One, Pars Kute. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ra James. We will be doing the 99 portal and the 911 portal back to back. We have a Virgo new moon, September 14th. This new moon brings an auspicious energy for creative projects, improving your love life, or taking a chance on something new. New moons are times of fresh cycles. Since it's the equinox, the 23rd, expect the energies to stay real high this month. We also start to feel and go into the energies of the equinox three weeks prior. That's now. We are already feeling and receiving the energies of the equinox. You'll be feeling the magic a little extra this equinox season. Jupiter is retrograde now and meant to positively affect your relationships. 
The 99 portal brings powerful energies of destiny, completion, and of karmic endings. The energies of the 99 portal are so special for any twin flames. The upgrades are helping you to reunite with them, whether you never met them or you're trying to shift out of separation. The 99 portal brings powerful energies all about manifesting your desires. Take charge of your life and follow your unique path. It's time to let go of what's holding you back. 912 is also a major galactic activation portal day. Expect a huge influx of galactic energies this month. This Virgo season is all about healing and getting our energy right. We have a chance of X flares for today, lots of energy from last night. We have some sunspots that are getting bigger. All of these energies are having powerful effects on us. Expect lots of DNA activations over the next two weeks. It's a great time to be doing energy work or just staying more positive to get that much closer to those manifestations. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com. From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, The Meaning of Life, Energy Update. For what is coming next, we are being guided to develop and accept again the previously lost trust in the self and in life. Not the personality self or the life as we knew it, as we have left both behind forever but the eternal self and eternal life. We are eternal beings, and we are being called to allow to feel and accept this truth again. Our consciousness is expanding to meet and merge with the truth of our existence. This is the end game, and this next phase will be very different than anything we have experienced before. So we are being asked to navigate our way in every step of the way and embrace new ways of relating to our own existence and life. One thing is clear. The love that surrounds us in this process is great, and the reassurance of our successful transition to the new is a given. So all we need to do is trust and continue. Through the uprooting that we went through, we have left the 3D attachments of the lower chakras behind. These attachments were mainly based and built upon the condition of death coming from the connection to the underworld, and they were attached to long chains of distorted ways of relating to everything, inwardly and outwardly, via this condition of death and the general lack of safety and the presence of uncertainty of this reality. This was also more enhanced via the experience of many resets that have taken place in this realm that we are now zeroing out. So we have now allowed these chains to drop away. As this is taking place, a new inner oscillation is being embodied, and this naturally ignites a transformation of the higher chakras to 1313 flowing in, which means that we are now becoming able to easier contact remember and reestablish the loving, gentle, and safe relationship to ourselves, others, and life itself that was out of our reach. We are relearning how to practically and essentially provide care, love, and honor to ourselves while feeling safe. We are free to do it. The new reestablishing self has its basis upon the condition of life. The threat of death is dissolving, and that is why in 3D reality death is so present in so many different ways at the moment. As we are letting go of everything that we thought we were, that one power that will guide and support us to make it to the other side is the presence and love that is coming from our eternal self and eternal creation. We are returning to innocence, self-knowing, and self-love. As the ancient code is being seen this next weeks will bring huge revelations on the knowing of the self and the meaning of life and great realizations and understandings will be achieved on the whole fallen journey but also the life that is ahead. The game is being revealed in all of its splendor. The meaning of life is here to be understood, felt and embraced in its opposite expressions. This is a true blessing, 144 coming in. 
Blessings of love to all. Eri ni. Huna ma anata kumara. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn 144 God Code. You're being invited to face your fear of being seen and put yourself out there to receive new opportunities, romance, and abundance. It's yours to receive, beloveds. There is a promised, destined plan for you to have it all. Maintain envisioning these goals while you move with the flow of divine timing. The upcoming 9-9 portal, September 9th, is the doorway into getting what you want. Do not hold back anymore. Go for it. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Tanya Gabrielle. Welcome the first triple 777 code of September. September 7 is the first of seven celebrations this month of a powerful 777 code, creating consistent profound awakenings and shifts. September is a 16 universal month which reduces to 7. 2023 is a 7 universal year. Today is September 7th, a 7 universal day. This sets up the highly intuitive and fortunate triple seven code. Seven is the vibration of spiritual downloads and serenity. Seven reminds you to cherish nature, the natural holy sanctuary of divine wisdom. Breathe in the fresh air, no matter the temperature. Smell the leaves, flowers, and soak in the breezes. Go for a walk on a sunny day and see what the plants and shadows do. You'll see that our world speaks to us all the time. If at certain times you can't get out into nature, bring plants of all sizes and flowers into your home. Make your sanctuary cozy so you feel inspired. Seven allows introspection to flower and new delightful spiritual downloads to ignite your heart. So you open up and move out of limitation. Seven is the lightning strike of change and surprise. It's a wonderful day of tremendous acuity. Mercury retrograde conjuncts the Sun and Virgo. Both the Sun and Mercury are at 13 degrees. Since Mercury's retrograde began while Venus was also in her own retrograde in Leo, the impact has been more pronounced and enlightening. Venus has 13 phases, a natural alignment to number 13. 13 magnifies the mother goddess energy, which is activated in a big way now as Venus moves into direct motion again. So the conjunction of Mercury with the Sun, ruler of Leo, at 13 degrees today is incredibly powerful. Venus in Leo inspires inner courage. With Mercury retrograde conjunct the Sun at 13 degrees Virgo, you have the courage to be acutely aware. Acuity takes accuracy to a new level. When you have accurate information, one of Virgo's fortes, you can pinpoint solutions easily. Acuity gives you both the ability to see and intuit at the same time. Acuity is incredibly important now to help guide us through the momentous shifts sweeping the earth. Acuity blends your divine abilities with the human mind, and the more you use your inner guidance system, the greater your acuity, and acuity includes humor. As you hone in on whatever shows up for you in present time, you get immediate clear instructions. A deep confidence results, steering you in the direction that is for your highest good. You don't waste time being in a state of confusion or indecision. You just have a deep faith in a knowing that all goodness shall prevail. From TanyaGabrielle.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Thursday, September 7th, the moon, ruler of our instincts and intuition, unchangeable Gemini, is challenging Neptune, ruler of illusion and delusion. In ungrounded Pisces, the moon wants to be able to feel what is right or appropriate. But right now she is in the mental sign of Gemini, so thinking and overanalyzing may be getting in the way. 
And then we add the difficult connection to Neptune, who is nebulous and sometimes deceptive and dreamy Pisces, which brings further confusion and disorientation. This will most likely not be the day where we have clarity to make a focused decision. We may feel that our heart and mind are all over the place and that we are vacillating back and forth from one conclusion to the next. However, this can be a great day to visualize all of your options, look into various opportunities, and use both logic and intuition in considering the possibilities that lie before you. Blessings of love and light to all. From SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Neptune Retrograde and Pisces, Quincunct Ceres in Libra. Mercury Retrograde in Virgo, Semi-Sextile, Venus in Leo. Oh, hey, Venus, how was your retrograde? Fine, thanks, Mercury, how are you doing? Oh, you know, still trucking on. I'm tired, though, and my stomach has been a little off, and I have a ton of things left to do on my to-do list. Skills practice tonight and more revising tomorrow. No rest for the trickster, eh? Venus laughs. Don't forget to create some playtime, sweetie. She winks, making Mercury blush. I know, let me just get this last job done, and then maybe we can make a date or... He fumbles for words whilst Mercury purrs and toys with her hair. And so goes the neighborly exchange between the mind and the heart. We are busy and yet somehow not getting anywhere, reviewing and yet not quite getting the message, antsy but not sure of where to place our focus, and yet all that is required is to reconnect with who and what we love. Maybe we just need a conversation with a partner, or to plan a movie night, or to go outside and watch the sunset. Sometimes it really is the little things that make all the difference. Flirt with possibilities, attend to practical matters, put your heart into the small tasks that keep life ticking over. If you feel empty, gently examine where you have sacrificed too much for the sake of others. It's time to nurture your own dreams, feed your soul. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 217, Red Solar Earth. Solar is the name for the number 9 and its keywords are intention, pulse, and realize. I'm always banging on about the power of solar days because in my experience they are the most powerful days in any wave spell. There is a great deal of energy available to tap into on these days, so make the most of it. We are in the relaxing wave spell of the red moon, and so this creates an interesting situation. The solar energy is very determined by the overlapping theme for the whole 13 days is chilling out. We can be determined to take it easy or by going with the flow, we realize the intentions of the universe. Today is Red Earth, which represents evolution, navigation, and synchronicity. Today is about using your intention to evolve. Summon up your determination and get the job done. Don't think too small either, or you'll waste a great opportunity. Synchronicity is also a key word for Red Earth, and this is because we evolve more efficiently when synchronicity guides us and also through evolution we increase our synchronicity. On Red Earth days, note how more frequently you experience coincidences. This greatly aids navigation. By the end of the day, you will understand exactly which direction you need to be going. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Solar Earth, 9 Kaban, Keen 217, 7th of September 2023, Right Timing, Pulsing a Love Revolution, 7 9 2023 equals 7 9 7 equals 7 16 equals 7 7 equals 14 equals 5, 7 7 Double Magic Happens, 7 9 7 Divine Magic Code, Day Code 7 Magic Mystic Spiritual Solitude Initiation, 14 Media Promotion Publicity Recognition, 5 Freedom Liberation Change Transformation Movement, 
month year codes nine completion destiny service humanity grace seven sixteen tower struck by lightning sudden unexpected events twenty the awakening clear vision two partner twin cooperation alliances duality twenty three royal star of the lion strength protection keen two one seven equal ten equal one manifestation leadership new beginnings another divine magic landmark day in gaia's evolution last galactic spin nine months ago keen two seventeen occurred on the twenty first of december twenty twenty two solstice and what a special day that was we had a twenty one twelve mirror code a three 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 divine trinity code and a six six heaven's gate code today the seven nine seven and the seven seven double magic codes amplifies the divine magic through this potent portal allowing us to access all these activations through keen two seventeen today we are pulsing waves of bliss and unconditional love throughout our planet to create transformational evolution another humongous day on planet earth these times are epic indeed day nine in the red moon wave spell of the goddess who is enhancing our intuition and sensitivity as we purify our vessels in order to find our natural flow today we are realizing synchronicity through listening for the right timing in order to explore and expand into our true flow that of union through divine unconditional love the pulse of mother earth how divinely perfecto tone of creation solar tone nine operates in the spiritual realm action realizing power pulse essence intention the ninth day of the wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation the solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience so we begin pulsing extending our intent into realization visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our heart this assists us in realizing our intentions this is potent manifestation energy today what seeds and intentions are you pulsing into reality are you pulsing out bliss bombs through your pure loving heart it is time to weave your web of expansive bliss enjoy this beautiful revolutionary day beloveds stop listen connect and revel in the flow of synchronicity pulsing forth today leading us all back home through the river of infinite love today's question is how can we synchronize with the heartbeat and rhythms of nova gaia navigating into the divine flow of higher love pulsing throughout the cosmos am i a divine conduit pulsing this wave of love i always choose the path of mother's natural bliss flow let this be your new mantra divine blessings for the exploring expanding and navigating into a more synchronic divine and loving heart space we are one heart in la ketch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen sixty six keen two seventeen red solar earth the mantra the code for today is i pulse in order to evolve realizing synchronicity i seal the matrix of navigation with the solar tone of intention i am guided by the power of space and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're seeing your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work 
I would like to welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Susan Sophia Blau, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Lynn Wood, for another donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you can do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Debbie Ballard, for your pledge and support on YouTube memberships, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Natalie Rose Smith, for another super thanks donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sis Star. We appreciate you and your continued support. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. Thank you, Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jenny, for your purchase today. We appreciate you and your support. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a very powerful divine decree from I Am Free. Divine decree for the circle and sword of blue flame. Beloved, mighty, victorious I Am Presence, Archangel Mikael, Lady Astrea and Angels of the Blue Flame. Lock your cosmic circle and sword of blue flame as of a thousand suns in, through, and around all misqualified energy around me, my loved ones, and all the people of the world, and all sinister force activity in, through, and around our entire planet. Seize and render this energy ineffective. Transmute, transmute, transmute it all. Cause, core, effect, record, and memory right back to the beginning of time until we are free and into the light and replace all with ascended master consciousness. We thank you. Illumine, illumine, illumine the source and see that this energy may not act or encroach upon life ever again. From IamFree.co.za Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, sacred, and restful weekend ahead. And 99 Portal coming this Saturday. As we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste. Greetings, beloved beings of light. Hope you're having a most beautiful, blessed day. Thank you for joining us today on this video. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A lot of codes coming into the field today. We have four, 144 coming in all day. We have massive energies flowing in from the great central sun through our Solaris and into the crystalline core of our hearts and into the crystalline core of the heart of Pachamama. We have the 9-9 portal coming up this Saturday. So a lot of energies merging together, coalescing, converging. This is a harmonic convergence of all timelines, dimensions, and realms. So thank you for joining us on our mission. If you receive value from these daily transmissions and teachings, if you'd like to support our work and mission, you can make a monthly pledge or one-time donation at the links at eaglelovecondor.com. And if you cannot afford a dollar a month, five dollars ten, what would really help us also is if you could like 
the video, leave a comment, and what helps us the most is sharing these videos, sharing these teachings and transmissions all over the internet through social media and through your groups, through your tribes and networks. That helps us out a lot. So we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much for all of you that have supported our work and mission over the years and to those that still continue to support us, our mission and this great works of our light work so thank you, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and glorious day in the new heaven upon the new earth. Namaste.